Alright, the bong here again. This is the continuation of our ESX development. So in today's video, we are replacing our default ESX notification from this to this. So from the start, I added a link in the description. So you will see SY Notify. So this is the link that I provided in the description. Just look around there and then uh, you have to click these re releases um, it's version 2.2 so you have to click this latest version and uh, there are no other options but to download this source code zip right here so you just have to click this one and then once it was downloaded it will directly download it into your download folder so first up is you have to extract it using your rar files or 7-zip or zip files so this is what we need right here here we go so first up is we have to copy this and we are going to paste it on our server so mine is 5m and tx data esx resources and there you go so we will be putting this in our add-on and there you go and we have to paste our notification and of course we have to remove the 2.2 so simply right click and more option and rename you have to remove 2.2 and enter next is we're going to check the folders and we see sql and readme files right here so you can open this one and you will see that there are a lot of information that can help you how to install the sy notification so in the main page you will see there is an sql right here you have to open your hide the sql once you opened it you have to copy the sql and then create a query and then paste it right there and start and you will see that at the bottom um there's no error on our sql now let's go back to the main page and copy this right here um, we have to change the as extended functions so that um, if you are interested on using it as your default notification so you have to uh, find this code on to your uh, ES extended uh, if you need to add this notification as default in ESX legacy add this to the given code located at core and ES extended and client folder and find functions and there you go now you have to uh, control F and search for notification so this is it the de the default one so we have to replace it with our exported product <laughs> so this is it punch it so replace it with this one so you have to copy this up and go back to this portion and you have to delete this one and paste the new one so that's that's so simple guys you need you don't need anything else in your life so you have to save this one and close now when we go back and read this information um, you have these options that you can add an export for this notification if you want to use this notification you can add this to the client side of your script and add this you, you just have to copy this and of course you have to replace this one so like for example um 
in the time you have to put 1000 for one is equals to one seconds and of course the uh, type if it is if it is success or info warning error or announcement so of course at the server side you can of course add this one and that's it it's a simple thing i think you have to restart your server and let's try it on the game oh no it actually works and i really like it guys um you don't have to buy any scripts because it is free on github so don't forget to subscribe